attention, Fox News alert now. The firefighter tried to save the life of the woman who was killed on board that Southwest flight out of New York to Texas earlier this week. His name is Andrew Needham. Uh, he's with his wife explaining his experience. Just listen for a minute here. And that's what his calling is, is to help. And that's what he did. Since the situation happened, have you guys gotten closer? Uh, it seems like you guys are a very close family as it is. But have you even gotten closer with not just your father and all, but the children? I mean, tell us about that if you could. Yeah, there's a, there's a special bond in this in this community, um, Solana, and, and within this fire department. And, um, I, I think we've all grown uh, from the circumstance. Um, but, uh, and even with the people on board the plane, um, been in contact with them, um, and uh, well, you know, we're 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 still healing, and uh, this isn't over as far as the healing goes. But uh, we we know we're we're, we're not alone, and uh, so, like I said earlier, we're standing here strong, and. Uh, just uh, know that uh, God's in control, and we'll move forward. One last question for me. Uh, any message directly to the family that you want to send condolences or something? Yeah, like I said earlier, I... she had two kids and a loving husband and a community around her. That uh, that loved her. So my heart is broken for them, and uh, I just pray that uh, they find comfort, they find healing. Yeah, a lot of um, emotion there. Whatever that may be. Jennifer Reardon it. died of blunt force trauma when debris from the aircraft engine punctured the aircraft. She was only 43, an executive at Wells Fargo. And as you heard Andrew say there, she was also the mother of two children.